Cotton candy is so colorful and fluffy, isn't it? But did you know that cotton candy is just stretched out sugar? How do we get fluffy cotton candy from hard sugar crystals? Let's find out. To understand how cotton candies are made, we would need a few things. A cotton candy machine, some sugar, a pan to heat the sugar, and a popsicle stick to collect our cotton candy. Let's start with our main ingredient, sugar. But sugar in its crystalline form cannot be stretched into thin filaments. We need to melt the solid state sugar to make it a liquid by heating it in a pan before we add it into the cotton candy machine. To melt and make a sugar syrup, add 3 cups of sugar with 1 cup of water. Now that we have our sugar syrup, let's pour this into the cotton candy machine and make some candies. The cotton candy machine has a disc with small holes along its edge and a motor attached beneath to spin it. The sugar syrup goes into the machine and we get long and thin strands of cotton candy. When the liquid sugar is poured into the spinning cotton candy machine, a centrifugal force acts on it. This forces the sugar syrup to escape through the holes in the disc in the form of thin and long strands. When the stretched out sugar escapes from the centerpiece, it cools down immediately since these thin strands can lose heat quickly. These thin sugar strands get collected in the large bowl of the cotton candy machine. Now, you can collect these strands by swirling a popsicle stick along the bowl and after a few swirls, you will have cotton candy just like the ones at carnivals. Making cotton candy is just a matter of changing sugar state from solid to liquid to solid. Isn't most cooking similar to this? Think about it.